Apple brought the heat in a major way with their new personal intelligence system called Apple Intelligence. We're talking a genuine game changer that could flip the entire AI game on its head. Now, I can already hear some of you saying, but Apple is usually so behind the curve when it comes to AI, right? Let me stop you right there. Because with Apple Intelligence, they've straight up leapfrogged the competition in certain areas. This smart system is packing some seriously powerful generative AI models integrated at the core across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac devices. And it's not like it is providing generic one-size-fits-all AI assistance. This thing actually taps into your personal context, habits, activities, all that good stuff to deliver intelligence that is tailored specifically for you and how you operate. This could be the first real personal AI companion that deeply understands you as an individual while still taking care of your privacy, even though Elon Musk would not agree with this statement. But we will talk about that a bit later in the video. Anyway, according to Apple, with Apple Intelligence, they are implementing intense security and encryption at every single step to ensure your personal data remains fully protected. And in this era of nonstop data breaches and privacy fiascos, that kind of commitment is absolutely massive. All right, now let's get into some of the cool new AI features Apple is bringing to the table with this system. One that immediately caught my eye is notification prioritization on your iPhone. We've all been there. Your phone is just relentlessly blowing up with notifications all day, every day. It gets so overwhelming that you end up missing something legit important. Well, Apple Intelligence aims to solve that by actually prioritizing and filtering your notifications based on importance, minimizing distractions, while ensuring you don't miss the crucial stuff. Your priority notifications appear at the top of the stack, letting you know what to pay attention to at a glance. And to make scanning your notifications faster, they're summarized. It is also powering brand spanking new AI-driven writing tools that are integrated across Apple's ecosystem. So essentially, we will have an AI writing assistant embedded into iPhone, iPad, Mac that helps us crafting emails, reports, social media posts, etc. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Apple has introduced this functionality called private cloud compute that allows Apple intelligence to flex its computational muscle by seamlessly tapping into even larger, more powerful AI models running on Apple's servers. Basically the brain power of a supercomputer, but coupled with Apple's signature privacy and security protections. A brand new standard for privacy and AI and unlocks intelligence you can trust. These cloud-based AI models are running on custom Apple Silicon servers that were designed from the ground up with a heavy focus on security and transparency. They utilize the Swift programming language which has robustness and protection baked into its core. And get this, Apple is offering complete transparency into how these systems operate, which is somehow a reassuring thing for me. But we're still just getting started. They've taken Siri, their iconic virtual assistant, and integrated it even deeper into the overall system experience across Apple's products. When you chat with Siri now, you'll see this glowing light animating around the borders of your screen, creating this super immersive, lifelike interaction. What does the weather look like for tomorrow at Muir Beach? Oh wait, I meant Muir Woods. The forecast is calling for clear skies in the morning near Muir Woods National Monument. Plus, thanks to major upgrades to Siri's language understanding capabilities, you can now talk to it in a much more natural, conversational style. Even if you stumble over your words, rephrase things on the fly or use imperfect grammar. Create an event for a hike there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Hike is scheduled for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on June 11th. I didn't have to mention Muir Woods again. Siri understood what I meant when I said there. Another innovative feature Apple unveiled is Image Wand. If you're sketching something on your iPad with an Apple Pencil, you can just circle your rough sketch and the AI will analyze it along with any text you've written. Then it creates a cleaned up high quality version of your image right in your notes or project. Oh, and Apple has also cooked up this new cleanup tool leveraging their AI tech. Basically, it can automatically detect distracting objects or elements in the background of your photos and seamlessly remove them while keeping the primary subject intact. And now, let me hit you with possibly the biggest bombshell of them all. Apple is integrating none other than ChatGPT directly into their ecosystem and experiences. So Siri can tap into ChatGPT's expertise when it might be helpful for you. That's right. 
the pioneer, the one that started the generative AI revolution, ChatGPT will be woven into Apple's software stack in a huge way. Absolute insanity. You can also ask questions related to your documents, presentations, or PDFs. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. But not everyone think that's a great idea. While undoubtedly a huge move that supercharges Apple's AI efforts by leveraging ChatGPT's strengths, this controversial partnership is already drawing major backlash from none other than Elon Musk, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO who co-founded OpenAI before leaving over disagreements, went on an angry rant about the news on his social media platform X. Musk stated that if Apple goes through with integrating OpenAI at the operating system level, he would consider it an unacceptable security violation and would ban Apple devices at his companies. He threatened that any visitors would have to surrender their Apple devices at the door, where they would be stored in a special Faraday cage that blocks crucial wireless signals like cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Musk accused Apple of being clueless about what happens once they hand your data over to OpenAI, claiming they are essentially selling you down the river with this partnership. This fiery reaction seems rooted in Musk's long-standing feud with OpenAI, the company he helped establish but later departed amid clashes over its direction. OpenAI has dismissed Musk's claims as frivolous and simply him being jealous of their success without his involvement anymore. Despite Musk's theatrical threats of an Apple ban, it may be difficult for him to actually follow through given how many major tech giants like Google, Samsung, and Microsoft have already integrated advanced AI across their platforms and operating systems. Some experts suggest Apple's approach of trying to process AI locally on device as much as possible. Only engaging OpenAI after explicitly asking permission could make their implementation more privacy conscious compared to certain rivals' methods. So at this point, the only question is, when we can actually get our hands on these incredible AI capabilities? Well, developer betas for Apple's new operating systems with full Apple intelligence integration are already out for devs to start tinkering with. Then next month, public betas will start rolling out so more people can take it for a spin. And finally this fall, we're looking at the full stable release packed with all of these transformative AI features shipping out to everyone. I've got to say, Apple really swung for the fences and knocked it out of the park with this whole Apple intelligence announcement. They fully embraced cutting edge generative AI and deep learning while still making user privacy, data security, and personalization the absolute top priorities. But now I wanna hear from you. Are you over the moon about these game-changing AI integrations from Apple? Maybe you've got some skepticism or privacy worries you want to voice, or any other burning thoughts, predictions, or theories you're itching to discuss. Whatever's on your mind, drop it down in the comments, and let's get a lively dialogue going. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.